Hi, so here I'm back with another video and this video is about the tournament Reliable Partner and the battle I lost against my very known rival against him I had uh, several battles in training and I won each of them but here I got defeated in the very first battle when I was trying to get top position but it was lucky that it was the very first battle so I will I still have chance to enter in another tournament for top position so in the middle of the ma battle I did a little bit of recklessness that cost me the battle however this replay will be a exciting one so starting with resource collection emergency measures infantry training and then uh, infantry scouting and then collecting the containers this one is caught by the enemy okay I got this one very well before this rifleman came here this YOLO base is the allied base of the enemy controlled by the AI or computer and this is the base of my allied base controlled by the computer this green base and this base the red color this belongs to my enemy here you see that the enemy is constructing the third supply center I already constructed third supply center and got HQ level 2 and also constructing supply centers the enemy just upgraded the headquarter a little while ago so in terms of development I had the advantage and I'm now going with advanced supply gold boost to increase my resource income which is 851 right now with 5 supply center and in this battle both units sent from the AI and from red and uh, from both players allied base the AI sent units at the middle and they fight here and some players do intercept the enemy AI units in, at the middle and some players just directly go to rush the base and here you see that I'm using two barracks level 2 going for assault vehicle level 2 and assaults are going through production from two barracks I'm actually preparing for rush attacks that's what uh, most confederation players do in this tournament in low rank they rush the base the enemy base of the resistance player since sniper towers do have long firing range but less armor and HP on the other hand bunkers are very solid defensive buildings so the reason that I came here instead of attacking here because in the last attack I saw red colored units that means units of this player this player was hoping to defend this pl uh, place here you see now here clearly you can see that these riflemen and cooties are all red colored even though this base is yellow colored and this base is red colored these are direct units from this player that means the player already know about the rush attacks that I'm going to do he's also he was also ready for that kind of attack so I moved my units here I was wondering whether I would should shall be attacking here or I should be attacking here so I decided to attack this place since AI bot cannot use any boost to defend themselves using the infantries to fight the most of the units and trying to destroy the sniper towers using the hammers since they are the big obstacles against my infantries so here you see that even though I'm attacking I'm not using any kind of attack boost and now I've just totally stopped using boost no boost I'm not actually using any single boost that's where the problem started 
due to overconfidence I just took myself to be the winner of this battle because I already destroyed so many buildings and I will be able to destroy many buildings and the build uh, the base of my ally is still intact okay enemy sent units for rescue and here I can see that many snipers and armadillos so after knowing there are snipers I moved my units away from the firing radius of the snipers so that I can destroy as much buildings I can destroy here all right now I'm you going for advanced supply after seeing my units got badly killed Since my unit combination, the composition of my units were heavy assaults and assaults. And heavy assaults are not for dealing against infantry. They're solely for vehicles and buildings. So due to the little number of assaults, I was uh, sure to go get defeated against those snipers there. And also I did not use the boost at that moment. And after seeing this, I'm, I still got a lot of confidence. And after seeing the upward movement of these green units, I just hope that the green units will be attacking at this place. But, and so I went there for attacking so that I can finish off the these two buildings and the YOLO player will not be able to reconstruct anything and the base will be totally gone but then my very sur big surprise these units are going to attack this red player and uh, now common attack red boost but the problem here I got that this location is a very disadvantageous one for me there are a little number of units here to keep me staying here and also I cannot go through this cliff or this forest I have to move my units from here and another is from here and throughout the whole process of movement of my units they will constantly be hit by the snipers and get destroyed before even they come in a close combat so that's a very disadvantageous location for me to attack and after realizing that, I immediately retreated with all my units all the, uh, to save as much units as I can and gathering them in the middle once again. Since all the units are here, there should be less number of units at the base. The allied units, my allied units are attacking the red player and giving him a hard time. And so I'm sending the units that I had left to attack this base. Okay, now going through hammer. Yeah, it was a very tough base to defeat. With little number of units, I cannot do anything. And as you can see, I do not have anything at this moment. I just wasted my units. Most of my units unnecessarily when I was attacking there. I could have retreated and saved all my units, but I didn't do that because of my carelessness. And now come on defense gold boost. Okay, the bunkers are actually doing great by taking care of the armadillos and grenadiers attacking in front but the snipers not only many snipers but also they are all placed in a parallel line so when any of my units came in come in front they are exposed to the firing radius of a huge number of snipers so the assaults cannot hardly can reach and deliver a single blow 
most of the snipers remain intact no attack from my units and after realizing that this, this process will continue I decided to retreat my units here so that I can gather a lot of units that can actually take this many bullets from these snipers and to delay the coming of these snipers I will be adding here one bunker bunker possesses a lot of HP and armor however after it's constructed if it's not constructed it got 50% of HP and armor I'm gathering more fortress and assault since they're specialized units that can fight against infantry but it's already too late So more snipers here you see that the snipers need to take position first they cannot attack while moving so I should have been kept the enemy busy all the time by attacking at different locations and also I should have uh, thought of the position of my attacks which also cost me a lot of units unnecessarily Yeah, so this one is also taken care of. Okay, now here's, here you see that. Now I'm going for common attack. But the problem is here now the little number of grenadiers and dragonflies came in front. They're providing covers and more armadillos are coming. They're providing covers for the snipers. Even though my assaults are not in a good position for attack due to the buildings, they cannot at, uh, run faster they have to move here and there and the snipers are already in position and being protected by these dragonflies and armadillos and this allowing snipers to hit my assaults without any problem and the assaults are simply being no match when they're facing in such dis uh, when they're facing such disadvantageous condition so the tactics from my enemy was uh, very great. I really appreciate his tactics and gaming. Very cool. And here you see that the allied units of my partner attacking. And here you see now their Zeus torrent has arrived and it's 16 minute mark. So destroying the base of the partner is very advantageous. Here this player, uh, this YOLO base has nothing at this moment just because I almost destroyed the entire infrastructure and they had to build the base from dust and this player is constantly keeping me busy because the AI bot reacts lately but when they react once they're prepared they will react with a lot of units and confederation bot is comparatively stronger here and if I had got a little bit more time, I could have received a very large number of units from the green player that could have been very advantageous. However, I should have prepared enough units to support myself until that moment, until that happens, of course. And also, I wasted my infantry unnecessarily. However, I will not be able to cut myself being caught up off guard once again due to carelessness and overconfidence. Okay, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. I will be back with new videos sometimes again.